Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Zach the Wretched Watchman, and I'm bringing you a little bit of a personal video on this one. I don't uh, I usually will be coming with you with some type of bringing you a little bit of news or something like that, but not this time. I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about uh, a couple things going on. Now, first of all, uh, I'm sure most of you, at least in the United States, I've got people outside the United States, sorry, uh, but... Uh, we just uh, had Thanksgiving uh, yesterday, and um, so I hope you guys had a great uh, time, whether you're getting together with family or, or whatever you do. People do some weird stuff on, on these holidays things, so I'm not, no judgment here, <laughs> just saying. Uh, but I do wanted uh, to make sure that I thank you guys uh, for all your support and, and everything um, allowing me to do what I do and something that I, I try and stress during the live streams and whatnot. Uh, but this time I kind of just want to do a more personal type of deal that I just want to thank you guys for your support and your prayers and, and everything you guys, uh, again, I believe that the Lord has blessed me through you guys. You guys are the ones that basically make this run. You guys are the ones that allow me to do what I do. And I am truly blessed and, and so grateful, uh, for, the Lord allowing me to do what I do here. And, and that's of course, you know, reporting on what's going on with news end time stuff, uh, connecting dots, how things kind of go with Bible prophecy, um, and whatnot. And I'm, I'm truly so blessed. And sometimes it's hard for me to, to try and, you know, get that to you truly how grateful I am and so thankful uh, for this. So I thank the Lord, um, every day I, I try and make sure he knows my heart, but I try and tell him anyways that I'm, I don't take this for granted and uh, I'm truly grateful and I'm thankful. I, I thank him for you guys as well uh, for allowing me to do this. So it's, it's, it's a, it's, I, you know, I don't want to say it's a dream, but um, it's truly a blessing. And I just pray that the Lord uses me how he wants me to, to go um, I try and listen to him the best I can. I try to follow with what he wants me to do. Um, but either way, I thank you guys uh, for allowing me to do this and um, your support and your prayers, your kind words and encouragement and everything. So thank you guys. Uh, you guys are the best uh, ragtag group of misfits out there. <laughs> you wretched misfits. And um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so thank you guys. Truly, I just wanted to put that out there. The other thing that I want to talk about and I've kind of mentioned things here and there uh, on the live streams, uh, but I just want to go ahead and make sure that I, I put the point across so everybody can see it and everybody knows what's going on uh, and whatnot. So as you can, uh, if you haven't noticed, but I'm sure many of you have, uh, we've kind of gone through a little bit of a rebrand when it comes to the podcast side of things. Now, obviously, we are still Wretched Watchmen as a whole uh, because I do more than just the podcast. I, I do regular videos and, and other things like that, too. So that's kind of the whole thing. We're still Wretched Watchmen, but the podcast is no longer the Watchtower podcast. Um, it is now the Prophecy Misfits uh, pro podcast. Um, it was one of those things where I, I liked the name, the watchtower. I, I really liked it. Obviously there's the whole, you know, Jehovah's witnesses thing, which I always tried to classify that, but I heard from a lot of people saying, you know, I shared this out, even said that you're not Jehovah's witness, but they just wouldn't watch it anyways, because of the name. I get it. I understood that for a long period of time. I wasn't, you know, um, uh, ignoring that in any type of way. I knew what was going on. I still liked the name, but it was mainly one of those things where, if I was to rebrand it, I need to make sure that I have the permanent name after that. If anybody knows when you start rebranding stuff, you start losing people because the familiarity is gone at that point. And so they don't know what's going on. And so people will just drift away and whatnot. So I don't want to do multiple rebrands. I just wanted to pick the perfect name, as perfect as it can be, obviously. And that's going to be the permanent one. And so with a lot of the stuff that's been going on, probably the past it's been going on for several months, uh, but mainly the past week and a half, uh, things have dramatically started taking turns um, where I believe the Lord has been moving me. Um, he's He's done this more than once in my life. Uh, he did it when I was in California and he, he launched me over to Arkansas uh, for music related things. That's something I would never do, but I did it anyways because I believe the Lord drew me over there. And then he also pulled me out of the NAR church when I was a part of that as well. Uh, that was a big thing where I had to give up pretty much everything that I was pursuing my own self in life 
um, to follow the Lord, and he he made it known to me, and I and I, I moved. Um, so this is another situation where I think he put me in a position, and now he's pulling me back out. Um, and I just got to see what he's what he's got lined up. I just go by faith, and and wherever he tries to lead me, or wherever he does lead me, I try to follow. Um, and so I believe that's what's going on. And so the podcast is now called the Prophecy Misfits Podcast. Um, and I kind of explained on the last live stream, the last show that I did, but I just want to put it forward on this one. Um, the name is coming from the fact of I believe that there has been a quiet group of uh, Christians, a quiet group in the remnant church, a quiet group of people who uh, have been following the same people that I have, who have been, you know, moving around in the same circle that I have, who've had to remain quiet. Um, they hold a different opinion than the majority. And with that, they've had to remain quiet. Otherwise, they'd get berated, ostracized, attacked, name called, uh, all this stuff. I've seen things that we're not going to get into. Um, from people who attack not only me, but also other prophecy pastors and teachers who also have it, as well as just people in the community that have received backlash because of it. And so the whole goal basically is this is Misfit Island. This is the the prophecy Misfit Island over here. And you can come here and you can have your different opinion, whether it's politics, uh, some type of prophecy event that we don't really know the answer to, a different look at something in scripture that doesn't necessarily follow the tradition. I'm guilty of that. I'm sure a lot of people know, you know, where I hold when it comes to things like Matthew 24 and um, uh, the whole seven year tribulation thing and, and all that type of stuff. Um, I've discussed that stuff in the past. And so, you know, I have a different thing on that. And so this is Prophecy Misfits and you can come here and um, basically not have to worry about because you have a different stance on something. Um, obviously if it's heretical, then we're going to talk about that. Um, but you know what I mean? And, um, this is a place where you can come and, and just be a misfit. You are the, the remnant of the remnant is the best way to do that. And coming along with it, not only is the rebrand, not only is it a new logo, um, and whatnot, but I believe it's a whole new chapter. Um, as I said, I believe the Lord has pulled me out, um, of certain circumstances and circles and situations, uh, recently. And I think it's going to be for the better. And he's placed a few things on my heart when it comes to this. As I said, it's a whole new chapter. Uh, we're still going to be doing the shows uh, Tuesday, Saturdays, 8 p.m. Central, like we, we always do. So no change there. Um, the content that I do is still going to say, stay the same. Um, but what I'm going to do, and, I've, and I'm dedicated to doing this, is I'm going to be reaching out um, way outside, you know, our community, our circle, whatever you want to call it, uh, for fresh new faces. Um, I'm going to be looking for strong, biblically strong, well-educated um, pastors and teachers with with backbones willing to say the, the hard stuff that needs to be said um, that isn't affiliated, associated, is not even known by anybody over in this uh, area of things that we've been, and I'm going to try and bring them in. Um, I think this needs to happen. Uh, we need to we need to expand beyond our bounds, our boundaries and see what's going on. And I know there's some amazing men of God out there uh, who just we don't know about. And so I've been actively do, working on that the past uh, week, week and a half. Um, I'm, I got some help uh, from a couple people behind the scenes uh, that are also doing the same thing. And so that's one of the things that we're going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to find fresh new faces on this. And I think it's going to be great. Um, I know usually when you bring in people who are unfamiliar faces, sometimes you don't want to watch. It's like, I don't know that guy. So I'm not really interested. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Um, that's all I can say is just give him a chance. You never know. Maybe they'll become somebody that you really appreciate and, and you look, look to for wisdom in the future. Um, so that's one of the things that's coming with the with the new uh, new chapter, so to say, of this of this journey. Um, another thing that um, I've announced that I'm working on, of course, is the if we're still here Bible prophecy shindig. Um, some people have been asking what's going on with that. Uh, have, has there been any split with anybody on the lineup on that? Is this still going on? Yes. Um, the the shindig is still full effect. The lineup is still there. All those guys are still on board. Good to go um, for that. So no worries there. Of course, I'm still looking for people. Of course, that's kind of a 
dual thing where I'm, I'm, I got to find new faces as well as, you know, get them on board. So uh, that's not until March. So we've got time, but I'm still working on, on bringing in some more speakers and whatnot. That's still going, but that's a part of this outreach thing. That's something that the Lord has also placed upon my heart is, is outreach, trying to reach people outside um, the lost, those who have questions, those who don't really know what's going on. They're just trying to figure things out. And of course, those ultimately who need Jesus Christ, our goal here, you know, occupy while we're still here has to do with being busy with the Lord's work. That's the great commission. That is what we should be doing. And when we just continue to trap ourselves in this little circle with our own little community, our clicks, I hate clicks, um, and, and we just start, you know, walling things off and just going with the flow with the traditions and stuff. We all of a sudden have a walled up community and there's n no outreach. And that's something that I've really been seeing a lot lately is there's no outreach. There's no going, um, to places where we should, even if it's online. And this is the environment that we live today, of course, but even if it's going online, you know, we see the the conference is going on. It's always the same speakers selling the same books. Um, um, that's it costs seventy five to a hundred dollars to go to these things with traveling expenses on top of it, or or trips to Israel, or cruise prophecy cruises, and all these types of stuff. And there's no outreach there. There's none. Um, this is a, a chance just to go on vacations and to go and meet with. Uh, the people that we've known, uh, the same group that's always been going to these things. And the outreach needs to be for people who can't afford those things, who uh, health-wise, they can't travel. Um, they have friends who they want to be able to, you know, introduce this type of stuff to. But of course, there's the cost that comes along with it. And there's just, I, I don't see how that's what the Lord wants. I personally, when I see that stuff, I think that's the reason why Jesus walked into the temple and flipped the tables. Um, because we've monetized what should be a free thing that we're all called to go and do. And I think that's one of the biggest things. So that's something that I want to do. I am obviously want to see what's going on with, with this whole virtual shindig conference, whatever you want to call it thing. Um, and maybe we'll have some more stuff in the future when it comes to that. Um, but that's definitely something that's that's been uh, on my heart lately, too, is with the the outreach and and trying to do what we're supposed to be doing. Does it, I mean, we all want to go home, right? Well, the only way we're going to get that last Gentile saved <laughs> is to go out and reach them, right? We, we're not going to do it while staying in our, our own little huts and our own little communities and, and whatnot. So we got to get out there and be bold um, in the name of the Lord and all that stuff. So um, those are just a couple of things. Uh, that I want to um, put forward uh, to you guys, let you guys know I'm big on transparency um, to let you guys know what's going on with that. A um, couple other things, you know, this is nothing, again, nothing's changing. I'm never going to monetize my stuff. Everything that I do is for free. Um, again, the conference is for free. Uh, the All my stuff is for free. I won't do paywalls. I won't hide anything um, like that. I'm not really big on selling um, anything. If I do have something, which there's been a call for some Prophecy Misfits shirts and mugs and stuff like that. Um, that's all Toby. Uh, I'll send him the, the designs, but he's got his Harpazo clothing ministry and he'll put them up there. I'm not making anything on that. So I just want to let people know I'm not making anything. All that is for uh, Toby to keep his ministry going with, with those uh, shirts and, and stuff like that. So um, I just want to make sure everybody knows uh, with that. I don't, I don't sell any of anything. I, I won't ever do that type of stuff. Everything I do needs to be for free. Um, so I just want to put that out there as well. So um, I think that's about it though. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some stuff. You guys know me. My, I have the memory of a goldfish um, and I, can pronounce words about as well as a goldfish too. So, uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, so this video has been long enough. I've been droning on long enough, but I just want to let you guys know what's going on. Um, again, thank you guys for allowing me to do this. It's such a blessing. I don't take it for granted. Um, I praise the Lord, uh, you know, for, for again, for this, I thank the Lord for allowing me to do this. And I thank the Lord for you guys as well. And then of course, you know, with this new chapter, I hope you guys are good with uh, coming along for the ride. It's going to be a ride. It's going to be great. Uh, again, all the familiar content is going to be there, how I do things. I'm still going to be the, the one who's, uh, you know, calling things out and, and going into weird territory, talking about the spiritual side of things and, and uh, really, really trying to make sure that I'm, I'm bringing you the best uh, research stuff that I can. 
Um, but of course, we're going to have some new stuff, rebrands, uh, some new faces coming in, different type of stuff for outreach and, and all that type of stuff. So, um, but yeah, just want to let you guys know what's going on. And with that, um, I'll see you when I see you. All right. You guys take care. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Maranatha.